Hi everyone, I'm Maggie Walden from maggiescrochet.com and every once in a while in crochet there are these defining moments and I really think that this board is one of them. This is so beautiful. I just love this. I've just been walking it around the office and this is to introduce a series of flower videos that we're doing here on YouTube and we're going to do videos on every single one of these flowers and then there's going to be several other flowers also and most of these were done with worsted weight yarn and all different um, brands of yarn were used for this and um, i just think it's really beautiful look at this and so you could it's a great way to use up scraps and this one flower down at the bottom, the, let me see, I got to go this way. The pink one here, it, I made it big enough so you could actually put like a little uh, votive candle in the middle. And you could use these like for, to decorate scarves or hats or um, just anything, placements, anything. I just love these things. So anyway, well, I'm, we're going to take you to a close-up lesson and Christina is going to show you how to make the flowers. And please, please, please subscribe to our channel and like and share our videos because it really helps us out a lot. Thanks a lot for watching. Hey everybody, it's Christina from Maggie'sCrochet.com and today I'm going to show you how to make this fun little poppy flower. This is a fairly simple project, mostly half double crochets, some single crochets. You'll make all these petals as one piece and then sew the center on after that. Um, these would be great for a lot of things. You can make a whole field of them puppies puppies um of course then it might snow on you uh, but anyway it's going to be a fun little project to do uh, i've used worsted weight yarn for this project in a size h hook you can vary the size of that yarn smaller or larger if you want a smaller or larger flower this one is probably about five inches across at its widest point all right let's get started Begin with your red on your H hook and we're going to start by chaining four and then join this with a slip stitch to form a ring. So take your hook, you're going to insert it into that chain nearest to your slip knot, grab a loop, pull it through, and then pull that same loop through the first loop on your hook. And what you've just done is made this nice little ring that we can work into now. So we'll chain one and then work ten half double crochets in this ring. For half double, you'll start like a double yarn over, insert down into the middle of the ring, grab a loop and pull it through. You've got three loops on your hook now, but for the half double, we're gonna go ahead and draw a loop through all three at the same time. So that's one half double crochet. Here's another yarn over, insert into the stitch, pull your loop through, pull the loop through all three loops on the hook. So we want a total of 10 of these for the center of our flower. And you may find from time to time that your stitches kind of fill up the ring before you're done. But if you just grab them, you can just kind of shimmy them over a little bit and create yourself a little more space. And if you have to do it a couple times, that's fine. I usually have to do it once or twice when I'm working this many stitches into a ring. See, I think that should be 10. 10. Yep. So then we'll just join to the first one. Insert your hook, grab a loop, pull it through, pull it through the loop already on your hook. And that's round one. Now for the petals, we're going to be working in rows, not rounds. So this is our right side. So first petal row one says with right side facing. So we're good. We don't need to change anything. We'll chain one and work two half double crochets in each of the next half double crochets. So just like we did before, we'll make a half double crochet. It's abbreviated HDC. All right, so I've got two in each for a total of four. And you want to take a stitch marker 
I like these, they're really easy to use. And mark the next stitch. So you'll just uh, insert that in there and these lock just like that. So we're gonna put that there and ignore that for a minute. Chain one and turn at the beginning of each row. So for row two, it says two half double crochets in the first, whoops, let's try that again. Two half double crochets in the first stitch. A half double crochet in each one across until we get to the last one. So that's one there, one there. And then in the last one, we'll do two. So at the end of round two, we have increased and now we have six half double crochets. Round three is the same thing, but since we're starting with more, we will end with more. So at the end of round three, we'll have eight half double crochets, working two in the first one, one in each stitch until we get to the last stitch, and then two in the last stitch for a total of eight. Just like that. Round four is just a half double crochet in each stitch across, so that's eight half double crochets. So let me do that and then I'm gonna come back and show you round five. Into row four, we've still got eight half double crochets. We'll chain one and we're ready to do round five. Round five, row five, sorry, starts with a half double crochet decrease. So you'll start like normal, yarn over, insert down into the first stitch, pull your loop through, and pull your, pull your next loop through only two of the loops on your hook. Normally for a half double, you pull all the way through all three, but leave the last one there. So now you've got two loops on your hook. Then yarn over, we'll go down into the next stitch, pull a loop through. You've got four loops on your hook and go ahead and pull through all four of those. And now you've got only one stitch where you had two. Do that and then a half double crochet in each stitch across except the last two. When you get down to the last two stitches, you will work another half double crochet decrease. So yarn over, insert into the first stitch, pull loop through, grab a loop, pull it through two loops, yarn over, go down into the next stitch, pull your loop through. Now you've got four loops, so go ahead and pull through all four of those. So now you've got six half double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Round six is the same thing. You'll work a half double decrease in the first two stitches. And then half double crochets across until you get to the last two and then another half double crochet decrease. And then for row, at the end of row six, which is what we just did, we've got four stitches across the top. We're going to turn our work, slip stitch in each of the top of the four half double crochets. This is kind of an edging one, two. The slip stitch is really easy. You're just gonna insert into your hook, pull a loop through, and then pull that same loop through the loop already on your hook. There's your slip stitch. So there's one in each of the four stitches across the top. And then we're gonna work slip stitches down the side until we come down to the bottom where our stitch marker is. And that stitch marker is marking where we'll begin the next petal. So I'm going to get about uh, one or two slip stitches per row. In my opinion, this is not an exact science. It's what looks good, which will depend on how loosely you, how tightly or loosely you crochet. But I would aim for about say three slip stitches every two rows. Something like that's probably good. Let's see if that's what I end up with. All 
So I got, let's see, looks like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I got about eight, maybe nine slip stitches down the side of the petal there. And then you're ready to start the next petal. So here we've got this stitch that we marked. You can take that marker out now and in that stitch that we had marked, you'll start working the next petal. You'll start with a slip stitch in that stitch, chain one, and then two half double crochets. All in that same stitch right next to your first petal. And the next stitch, you'll also work two half double crochets. Then the rest of the petal is just like the first petal we did. You'll repeat rows two through six, and then slip stitch down the side, and continue working your petals all the way around. Uh, and when you finish, you should have a total of five petals. They curve really nicely. It's a really neat look. So I'm gonna go make all my petals, and then I will come back, show you how to make the center of the poppy and how to put it all together. Now the center of your poppy will be black. I'm showing you in white because uh, black would be just a little hard to see exactly what I'm doing. So you'll wanna make your center in black. Um, around one of the center of the poppy is exactly the same as around one of the center of the flower itself that you just made out of the red. You'll chain four, join with a slip stitch to form a ring, and then work 10 half double crochets in that ring, which is what I've done here. For round two, You'll chain one and turn. And in this first half double crochet, you'll work two single crochets. And in the next one, you'll just work one single crochet. So you'll repeat that two, one single crochet pattern around. So there's two, next one's one. And when you finish, you should have uh, 15 single crochets around the center of your poppy. And that way you can finish off and weave in your ends. Now I'm going to sew my poppy center to my poppy, so I'm going to leave a nice long end to do that with. And I will come back and show you just how that's done. Here is the poppy with all five petals. And here is my center. Again, yours will be black. So to sew these on, I've left a nice long tail on my center. Easiest way I have found to thread a yarn needle is fold your yarn in half and kind of pinch it in between your thumb and your index finger. Take your yarn needle, the bigger the better I think. This is one of the biggest ones I've got. And then you just kind of kind of wiggle the eye right over that yarn you've got pinched between your fingers. That's a lot easier than trying to thread this end through this eye. So then you'll want to center it, make sure you've got the right side facing you. And let's see, there's a couple different ways you can sew this down. I'm just gonna kinda go into the bottom of each petal and then into the back of the center. And just kind of sew it down like that all the way around the edge. Uh, every now and then I like to do like a little back stitch so here, for example, I'm gonna go back through those stitches and then back through the same ones on the petal that I already went through, just to make it a little more secure. So if you do that all the way around, you will have a nice, lovely, secure little poppy. Well, I hope this video has been helpful to you. If you've got any questions, please do leave them in the comments below, and you will find down in the description the pattern and everything else you'll need for this project. Thanks for watching. And this is the third part, um, which we're going to do the edging round. So. Um, at the end of row 13, so what that is, is to just go between these two shells and go into that space right there and work a single crochet like that.